Hey, my little pumpkins, it's time to get back in here and uh, show you guys what we had done on stream just a couple days ago. And this was, re it's really kind of cool looking back at these sped up streams just to see, you know, what we got done in just maybe a little over two hours. Well, we kind of, we kind of flew around and, and explored a little bit of that. But for the most part, the talking did not interfere with the build this time. You know, sometimes on streams you can get carried away with chatting and, you know, just kind of zooming around all over the place. But I did pretty good about just kind of getting the work done this time and uh, once again doing some changes at Suyana Zoo. And we uh, definitely had a good time. The Elephant Springs, <laughs> it is gone. I know some of you guys are going to be like, <gasps> why did he do that? But we're going to, it's, it's, it's gone, but it's not gone. It's going to be coming back. We just consider what you just saw as a good practice round. And uh, we're going to move it a little closer to the entrance. Um, I'm going to see if uh, Bold is going to try to do me a custom uh, Elephant Spring sign right there. We just saw those little people kind of walk away from. And uh, I think we can do it better. And, uh, you know, like I was telling them on stream, there is no place that has had more changes to it than Suyana. But I think the changes, there hasn't been a change I've made and I thought, man, I should not have deleted that. I'll never be able to get back in there and make that right or make that look like it did. Everything that I've changed, I've been like, man, why didn't I think of this originally? This looks so much better. And I think that's exactly how uh, a lot of the people that were in the stream felt with this little relaxation area. And that's essentially what we did. That was like the bulk of the stream work. We got rid of Michelle's um, just kind of apartment complex and my exotic drink shop. And what we did is we came in here, we pulled a remnant, we lowered down this tier. Like we, we really kind of wanted to make it, um, you know, cozy down off of the main path, off of the main crowds where the most people would be flowing through at. And this is a spot where we thought you could come in, you know, you, you've just fought the parking lot, you've just fought the ticket lines, and uh, you can come back here and get kind of your head together. What are you going to do in the zoo today? You know, um, get strollers kind of situated, get your backpack situated, uh, get your GoPros out or your cameras if you're going to vlog in the parks. Um, and I just thought that this would be a nice little area that you could come and do all that stuff. Probably end up maybe putting a little bathroom back here. Um, as a matter of fact, after the stream was over, you'll see we put in a lot of foliage and a lot of vegeta vegetation because our biggest thing back here is we were thinking shade. We've got to have shade back here. We've got to have a lot of benches. We really need a place back here where people can just chill a little bit, relax, grab a drink. We even ended up putting some picnic tables back here. If you, you know, kind of like if you know they're back there and you grab some food, you can uh, just dart off to the back of this and have your, have your meal kind of back there in the quietness and the shade of this relaxation area. Brought in some planters. A lot of this relaxation area, actually, uh, the, the planters and stuff, this is simply Savannah's fencing. But the planters actually come from the water park recreation that I was trying. Remember when I was doing like a little, like I had like my splash country vibe going on? That is what a lot of this back here comes from. And we just think it worked out really, really good. Um, and I, I just, uh, another thing that we were, that we were kind of thinking in the, in the process of this was even before I started the stream, open up the entrance area. Um, I had really, really kind of boxed it in. And I think where Remnant had boxed it in is it's, it's different because it's almost um, like it pulls you in for exploration. It gets, it gets really, really tight and you just, um, it just works at that entrance area. Makes it almost, it almost gives it like a mysterious vibe. But when you get into the park, I was thinking, okay, we need to open this up. We need to be able to, people to be able to see the Elephant Springs from the entrance or, you know, at least what, where the sign's going to be. And I think it just, uh, I think it's going to really, really work out well when you see that sign as you make your way kind of through this area. 
And uh, as usual, this uh, involved with me involved a lot of foliage work, a lot of rock work. My, probably my my most fun thing to do in the game. And uh, yeah, it was just cool, kind of jumping back in here and hanging out with you guys again. That you know, I was telling Bold and Leaf and a couple people in the stream that when I went to set this stream up on Friday. Um, you know how YouTube will keep whatever your last settings were or whatever your last stream was. Um, you have to go in and manually change that to whatever new you're doing. And uh, the last stream that we did was uh, Conservation Pack Live. So that's how long ago this was that, that we streamed. We streamed the Conservation Pack. So I don't know. It was, uh, it was fun to just kind of dive back in and kind of... Uh, but of course, too, I don't normally have just random Fridays like that off. So that was pretty neat. And, uh, you know, Casey and, and her sister came in and they're like, well, because, you know, Emma's birthday party was on Saturday. You're probably watching this now, probably on Sunday. But uh, they said, we've got to run to Sam's Club. Um, we'll, we'll probably, you know, we'll, it's going to be a while. We got to get a lot of stuff. And uh, we're probably going to have to stop by Walmart and get some pictures and and stuff like that. So, you know, from, from us, Sam's club's like 45 minutes away just to get there. So I was like, man, they, the baby's gone. Casey's gone. They're all gone. Um, I was sitting here playing modern warfare two, And I was like, man, I have like at least two, three hours of uninterrupted gaming time. I'm like, Let's jump in here and freaking stream. Let's, you know, let's, let's make our little bit of a streaming comeback. And I almost have a little bit of the bug now. I'm like, I really want to stream again. That was freaking fun. I think streaming helped me get this done more. Than, I, I feel just that if I would have jumped into Planet Zoo on Friday while they were gone, I don't know if I would have got all this done. Like essentially being in the stream makes you want to be more productive and actually get stuff done. I think if I would have just been here by myself, I might have tooled around in here for a little bit, maybe deleted Elephant Springs, and I would have probably jumped back over to Modern Warfare, or I'm really big on Civilization Six right now. Um, but I think just jumping in here with you guys and knowing that you guys are here to kind of see what I can come up with and hang out and, you know, kind of put these ideas to life here in game, I think that helped me get stuff done. And that kind of is what kind of motivates me to stream more is uh, just the, the stuff that comes out of these builds. But I've got a little bit of a change right here. You'll see when we go into the live, um, the, when, into the real time section, I put the little uh, gorilla statue right here. But um, President of Zoo was saying, you know what you should put down in here? A little like uh, uh, an Im implied macaw exhibit. And one of the things that I hadn't even thought about was I have Woody's kind of over there out in the sun. You know, his implied macaw exhibit. I think I'm going to bring it over here and put it in the shade and put it over in this like little relaxation zone. So even if you're just sitting over there, um, you know, just having a drink or relaxing, you will have some animal coverage over there. This is like the little ADA access ramp. Um, you'll have to come around and back down the ramp. Um, that's always fun to kind of incorporate that stuff into the design. And I, uh, I, that's what we were talking about in stream too. It would be so awesome if there were just more guest interactive stuff like that. Um, you know, like, uh, water fountains, see the guests using water fountains. Um, it'd be cool to even see guests like, you know, like a little vlogging guests, I think would be cool. Um, disabled guests. I, it would be really awesome to kind of see, um, wheelchair representation in the game and, um, you know, having to design, with that in mind, um, it's just, it, it, you know, it would, uh, Super Fiend was a, was a, was a buddy of mine. I haven't heard, haven't, haven't seen him in a long time, but he was always big on Frontier needing to add more guest interaction, just to have them do more things in the environment. And they, you know, they've gotten, they've got, they, they've listened to that a little bit with like some of the education centers and some of those little stands like the, uh, you know, where, where they can come up and make like the, the roaring sounds and the how tall are you compared to an elephant. Um, 
the group selfies, all of that stuff is is a big step up from Planet Coaster, but it would be cool if they could, you know, try to come up with even more that the guests could interact with. Like I said, the um, the just things like water fountains, and you know they they throw their trash away, they eat and stuff while they're walking. Um, but that is just uh, that has always uh, been an interesting interesting level of topic about what can Frontier make the guests do more as far as making it seem more lively, and you know that kind of just watching them have that interaction with different things. But um, anyways, the main build is done by the time you got here. To this point, so now we're just kind of talking about the talking about the zoo and doing like a little um, showcase for the people that showed up for the stream. So let's go ahead and jump in the real time real quick, and I will show you what we did. Um, we actually ended up destroying this part of Tamu Tamu and put the little building kind of right here that may kind of play into Elephant Springs a little bit. But uh, yeah, we kind of moved this off out of the way opened up the, um, you know, the tunnel that used to house the orangutans, you know, back through there, which they still may. I said I was kind of going to hold that for uh, Leaf. I wanted to see what Leaf could make happen back in there. And so that's kind of exciting just to see. Maybe I told him if he gets burned out with one of his projects, uh, come in and build that for me and try to just see what you can make happen back there. But anyways, yeah, let's jump on in and I will show you in real time uh, what we've got going on here. All right, guys, let me show you around real quick. What do you all think about this, too? I brought, uh, we were talking in the live stream about not having a statue or anything right here in this little open spot. So I brought Bold's Sianna Zoo sign she made for me and put it right here. And I thought this would be cool because people could stand in front of it and take a picture with the tower in the background and the glass dome. And regular guests could still walk by both sides. So, you know, um, we could even have just like, you know, Disney has cast members that are around the parks and, um, you know, you could like buy, like say Suyana Zoo could have a photo pass and, you know, all throughout the park, they would take your photo and then, you know, you get it emailed to you or you log on to the website and you could download them or order a thumb drive with them on it. But this would be one of the spots where you could like queue up and get your picture in front of the sign. I, that would be pretty cool. It, of course, I guess you don't see that in zoos a lot, but that would be another cool little um, interactive thing. Don't you guys think if there were like photo pass and photographers that walked around and their little cameras flashed and they got the groups to come over and, you know, uh, pose in front of things like pose in front of the, uh, the gorilla here. I think that would be cool. Um, but also, too, this is what you'll notice a little different. I brought in Woody's macaw aviary back here in the relaxation zone. So wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, I don't know how loud it would be or how messy, but you could sit back here in the shade and kind of just hang out. And like I said, get the stroller ready, uh, rearrange your backpack, you know, whatever. Get your drinks. But... There would be some. There would be some little birds back here, and who knows? Maybe one day we could actually. Uh, this wouldn't have to be implied, and I could actually put birds back here. But doesn't isn't that a, isn't that just like I think a little better than putting a statue back there? And then, like we said, here's the ADA ramp that brings you in over to this side. And like I said, we just just bumped it full of. Uh, benches and picnic tables and trash cans. And we may have to maybe do a set of bathrooms back here as well. Yeah, so that is what we got done on stream. And out through here, if you'll remember on the time lapse, out through here is where Elephant Springs is going to be. And I have a trapped seal over here for some reason, but we'll get him out of there. So yeah, this is kind of the whole little, whole little change. Remember the uh, the Woody's aviary sat right here, so got that out of there, changed that out, put this tree in to offer some path shade, and yeah. So looking at it up here, 
I think all of this just kind of flows so much better now. And of course, we left her sign um, out here as well when you kind of first pull up or if you're dropping somebody off or if a bus is dropping you off. You can get your tickets and stuff over here. That's kind of like the whole ticket counter area. And here is security and where you scan your little tickets. And now let's um, kind of come in here and make your way around here and see how it's kind of, it's a little tight, looks really cool. But here's kind of your, you know, once you get past Tamu Tamu, here's kind of the reveal and the big Suyana sign first animals you technically come up to if you stop right here is our Komodo dragons. <laughs> Big boy up front. <laughs> so yeah, that's their little basking rocks. That is Komodo Island. And this is what I said I was going to leave for Leaf. Uh, to possibly figure me out something someday. So yeah, that's it, guys. You'll have to let me know what you think about our little, our new little relaxation area and getting our Sienna sign up front here. So yeah, thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.